This is a huge beer from what I consider to be Munich's number one brewery. From the Augustina Brow in Munich, we have a bottle of their Maxi Mador Stark Beer coming in at 7.5% ABV. Now, this is a apparently a huge beer, you know, even the name of it, Maxi Mador, you know, um. I just, I love the name. I just love that name. It's brilliant, isn't it? Maxi Mador. Um, there's a right good ring to it, isn't it? Um, this is a dark, doppelback, stark beer. In German means strong beer. This is a beer that they brew, especially for the sort of the winter period and the festivities of sort of um, Christmas, New Year's Eve, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's, I'm expecting a lot from this. My, my, fa my favourite Munich uh, brewery is Augustina Brau. And yeah, uh, let's crack it open. It gives a sm the name gives a smile to my face. Maxi Mador. I've got to say it again, you know. It's just, <laughs> what, what a name for a beer. It is, it's, it, it's just... I think it's just brilliant. I like that, you know. It's sort of, oh, it's it's sort of like a, a name that you'd you'd hear on like a, a UK sort of game show type thing, isn't it? You know, Maxi Mador. It's 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 just got that ring to it. I love it. So let's get it in a glass. And obviously, Augustina Brow, um, they're a monastic brewery. They've been brewing since like the 1300s so very very uh, old traditional Munich brewery one of the big six and I consider them to be the best of the big six look at that obviously I've got my uh, Oktoberfest Museum glass. But look at that. That is a deep ruby red colour with a fantastic two finger off white tight foam head. It just, it looks inviting, doesn't it? It really does look inviting, this. Let's get the aromas. I'm expecting a real lot for this. Oh, it's bready. I'm getting cherries. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting some herbs in there as well. Oh, the, the cherries in this, it, oh. It actually smells, it has a sort of a, a black forest cherry gatto type sort of a vibe. Cherry caramel, the, 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 the cherries, the caramel, the bread, it, it does smell divine this, it really does. Let's dive in and give it a try, cheers. Got another sip, there's a lot going on in this. Herbs, 
herbs. This is a very pleasurable drink. Um, what a great beer. It's not a beer I'll drink in the summer. And I'm off, uh, I'm off to Nuremberg in the summer. And uh, they've actually got a um, Augustina Brower um, place in, in, in Nuremberg. And this will probably be on the menu. But in July, I don't think I'll be drinking it. But in a win as a winter beer, this is cracking. There's a crispness to it. Really does have a right crispness to it. Very, very low in carbonation. You know, you can just see when I hold it up there. You can see there's there's, there's literally no no sort of bubbles really like bubbling away like, you know. Um and, and it doesn't dance on your tongue, it's really sort of you know, it's not a flat beer, when you see that, when you poured it, you know, with the, with the foam on it. And it's still con to continuing to hold that foam, you know, so it's, it's not a flat beer at all. But there's, there's very, very little carbonation. You know, this is not a beer that's gassy, going to bloat you out or anything like that. Fantastic. This beer is an art form. Now if you look at this, can you see can you see the the gas now? The carbonation? It's all sort of situates towards the top of the beer. Um, which is keeping that little head there. This is this beer is an art form. Now, as we all know, the Belgians are probably the best in the world at brewing strong beer. But, when you get people like Augustina Brow brewing a beer like this, right, I think it, I think they can rival some of the Belgians. They really can. You know, I think most, most German beer is around the 5% mark. You know, that seems to be the staple sort of average, you know, the 4.8 to 5.3s is sort of where you'll find most German beer, ABV, you know, uh, across Germany. But, I say, now and again, like, say, down in Munich, he's famous for these, these dark beers, strong dark beers. And, yeah, I think they could... They, you know, they definitely know a thing or two about brewing a strong beer, and you know, this. If you were to put this up against a Belgium double, which when you think about the ABV, it's roughly about the same. I actually think this is better than a Belgium double, and that's a bold statement. This is brilliant. This is Augustina Brow. <laughs> you smash it again, you know. Um, that you know, I really rate their idle stuff. Which is what they call their export beer. Um, even they're just a bog standard hells. It's fantastic. Um, a fantastic brewery. And this, so far for me. This is their best beer. It's just got everything I want in a beer. The more sort of, it's you know, I've drunk quite a bit now, sort of, I don't know, a quarter of a quarter of it. I'm starting to get sort of molasses. Brown bread, brown sugar, my palate sort of, you know, um, one thing it has done to my palate, which is, 
my palate is buzzing my tongue roof of my mouth it's after quite a few sips it's become quite a, what I call a sticky beer it's stuck everywhere in my mouth and because of that I'm starting to get these other flavours are starting to now come through which the only thing at first I'm sort of saying caramel cherries I'm now sort of picking up molasses plums brown bread <laughs> you know brown sugar um, yeah it's I think it's one of these beers that The first glass is just to to lubricate, and I reckon if I had another bottle of this and was to crack it open after this one, I'd probably experience even better flavours. Um, I think, it, yeah, it's definitely very very sticky. It has all the flavours of winter really. This is a beer to sort of have on a Sunday evening where you're just winding down from the weekend, sitting in front of a fire, um, maybe watching some TV, something like that. And just a beer just to sip, enjoy, and chill out on a Sunday evening. This is this is the beer. Absolutely fantastic. Now I I got this I got this bottle actually from Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds. Um, that's where um, it's got it on sale, and it wasn't expensive. About about three quid for a bottle, you know. Uh, it's a, like a half litre bottle, but what a beer! Absolutely fantastic. And of course that name. Maxi Mador. <laughs> it's just brilliant. It's just got a rot such a good ring to it. <sighs> now one of my favourite dishes in Germany, believe it or not, is a pork knuckle. Roast pork knuckle. And done with a beer sauce. Now, I tell you what, this it make a, a beer sauce with this for your pork knuckle, roast pork knuckle, would be fantastic because of the stickiness, the cherries, the caramel, all these flavours will go well with um, with pork. You know, you think I've uh, I've done pork belly on the on the barbecue before, and uh, I've done it with the old Belgium, you know, Creek cherry beer. This would be fantastic. That that would make that that pork knuckle so sticky and lovely, and yeah, maybe. Augustina Brow, because they do food, maybe they do the pork, I don't know, I don't know, but um, I'll have to check that out, see if they do the pork knuckle in this beer, because I'll tell you what, it's a heck of a beer. It's, it's definitely, in my opinion, the best beer Augustina Brow do. This is definitely another beer to try before you die. Christ, that list is getting longer, isn't it? <laughs> you know, um, all these beers all my subscribers have got to try before they die because it's getting longer and longer and longer. But no, seriously, get.
get yourself a bottle of this. You are not going to be disappointed with this beer. It is it's fantastic. Even you people out there that don't like dark beers, you are going to have a glass of this. It's going to put a smile on your face because it's unlike any other dark beer, especially the German dark beers. You know, I've got a few subscribers who don't like the German dark beers, don't like the Dunkles, blah, blah, blah. Seriously, try this. You, you'll be, you're going to be impressed by it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, the best beer by Augustina Brow, by far. Um, look, try and get yourself a bowl. I, I, as I say, beautiful beers. Berry St Edmunds have it in stock. Um, you can go on their website and get it. Um, I haven't checked around anywhere else to see if they've got it, but I would suppose Beers of Europe have probably got it, and maybe Beer Hawk, I don't know. You just have to have a look. Um, get yourself a bottle, try it, see what you think, leave a comment below. And especially, um, Stefan, please comment, because Stefan's the, 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 the German subscriber that sends me a lot of beer. Have you had this, Stefan? And what do you think of it, if you've had it, or if you haven't had it? Best, best you get hold of a bottle and try it, Stefan. So, like, leave us, leave comments below. Right, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And, of course, subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers, the channel's on its knees. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>